Now we come to the question, if all these various experiences and feelings come from nothing more than demons are capable of, what are the kinds of experiences that are truly spiritual and holy? What do I have to find in my own heart as a sure sign of God's grace there? What are the differences that show them to be from the Holy Spirit? This is the answer. Those feelings and experiences which are good signs of God's grace in the heart differ from the experience of demons in their source and their results. Their source is the sense of the overwhelming holy beauty and loveliness of the things of God. When a person grasps in his mind, or better yet, when he feels his own heart held captive by the attractiveness of the divine, this is an unmistakable sign of God's working. The demons and damned in hell do not now, and never will, experience even the tiniest bit of this. Before their fall, the demons did have this sense of God, but in their fall they lost it. 